we are now in the 21st century. Yes. Oh, we are in Senegal. We are in the television. We are in the university. Don't bring Islam here. Islamic talk. Go to the mosque. Or yeah. go to the church if you want to talk about religion. They don't understand. Religion for us is a way of life. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, the devotional aspect, the, when you go to the mosque, that is the devotional aspect. But when you're working in the office, like su suppose in your office as an accountant, you are entrusted with, with so many things, including like some sort of money. Islam says that protect money is your religious responsibility to make sure that the responsibility entrusted in your hands is safe. And don't run away with it. No, at all. Any single button that you misuse, you are going to be held account accountable for in the area. People say this. Sometimes you hear in the streets, the boys will say, they said, if you steal an individual's money, yeah. you'll be sinful. Yeah. But if you steal the whole nation's money, yeah. you, you are That's sinful. wrong. If I, if <laughs> I, I, I said to myself... Stealing the whole nation money is, is serious. It's in fact more serious because it's a piece of trust too. Mm -hmm. In addition to taking something that doesn't belong to you, you understand? Or in addition to using haram money, mm -hmm. it's a piece of trust. Because you, the, the society's money only comes to you or under your position as a result of a trust. Yeah. So if you still you're breaching the trust, it's serious. If it's more serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more serious. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still on the object. So that is why Abu Bakr, those objects of sales that are prohibited by Islam, they are, they are, they, 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 anything which is prohibited, prohibited by Islam mm -hmm. cannot be an object of sale. Okay. Yeah. Still on the object of sale. Yes. Uh, you see oil, cream that you apply, mm -hmm. which are made up of 50% uh, alcohol. Yeah. These are not what you consume. Yeah. You merely apply on your skin. Yeah. yeah. Someone asked whether Islamically mm -hmm. it will be. And perfumes. Yeah. 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 And perfumes yeah. exactly. Yeah. It is. It is whether it is acceptable yeah. for a Muslim to wear those kind of. Uh, yeah. The oil yeah. It, 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 it may not necessarily, you know, uh, inflict, uh, let's say, what we call najasa or impurity or filth. It may not make your body dirty, but it is not Islamic too. Unless otherwise authorized or advised by a doctor, by a physician. If, if there's a situation where a, a doctor authorizes or advises you to, to apply alcoholic or anything in a way that can be good to you. Can alcohol be good? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about, uh, yes, it can, can, maybe, I don't know, for, 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 for health reasons, probably, for, for medical reasons. But if it is not good, in fact, one of the reasons, one of the, uh, you're bringing, uh, bringing me now to the second condition of, of the risk, it must be beneficial. Mm -hmm. The thing that you are selling or you are buying must be beneficial to you and others. Mm -hmm. So if you go and buy oil, apply to your body, but eventually it causes cancer, uh, skin cancer. A, 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 a particular skin disease, then a rule is being violated here. So you mean those who apply this hassle or seclair or what, whatever they call it, is, is, is not acceptable? Sometimes they will tell you hassle and learn are the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing hassle, I'm doing learn. What is it? <laughs> what is skin bleaching. Changing yeah. the natural, the beautiful color that Allah has given us. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's not in line with Islam, it's prohibited. Okay. Yeah, it's prohibited. The change of color is definitely Definitely prohibited. Not our powder, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, okay. Yeah. 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 So that is, and second, third, that's important. It must be beneficial. Mm -hmm. It must not be, that is why if the object of is destructive to life, it becomes an Islamic. Okay. And then you and said. And then another condition would be, it must be known. Selling something that you do not know. It must be known. It must be known. The object must be known. Like I, the like example I give you now, we are Yomi, because suppose you have cow, a cow in Yomi, mm. a vehicle in Yomi. Mm. We do not know whether it still exists. Mm. Who knows? Nobody knows. Maybe Jaren Kaman might have come behind you and taken it away. Stole it away. Mm. So if you want to sell it from here, you do not know whether it still exists. Mm. Something that you do not know, you cannot confirm its existence. Mm -hmm. Cannot be an object of sale. Okay. Like, remember what I told you, the essence of all these store regulations of transactions mm. is to allow you and I and every Muslim, to enable every Muslim mm. ensure, you know, uh, a, a clean life, clean way of life. That the money that you earn, the profit that you gain, mm. whatever you get is halal, is pure, you, you understand. Is a, and, and instead of, in, 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 instead of uh, uh, incurring any liability, rather you end up rewarded by God mm -hmm. because it's halal. You understand, and that is why. And again, like I said before, any transaction that makes somebody unfairly gain against another mm -hmm. becomes an Islamic. 
fourthly and probably lastly, it must be deliverable. Mm -hmm. You cannot sell something that you cannot deliver. It's snake in a hole, <laughs> as they say. Uh, yes, it's mm -hmm. in a hole or a fish in a it's in a pond or uh, whatever they say. Or, or, or you have uh, like a, 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 an animal which is lost, which mm -hmm. is gone. Mm -hmm. You search for it and you are told, oh, your animal has been sighted in Basse. Mm. Where in Basse? It says, Basse, man, Jang. Oh, Basse, so and so. Okay, who want, who, I want to sell it now. Can you deliver it? Okay. And remember, one of the conditions, it must be beneficial. So if you sell it, you get the money. For you, you will, the, many, the money will benefit you. But the person who buys the, the, the object of sale will not be benefited. Because the object of sale cannot be delivered. Allah Allah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This also brings. And then, and then the these two, two, the sit like seller and buyer, mm. uh, price and object of sale, they share the same conditions. The price and, 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 and object of sale. These okay. conditions I have mentioned. Okay. They're equally applicable to both price and okay. object of sale. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes to the construction, the word must be clearly understandable. Okay. That you mean we, 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 I'm coming to that. What of those who buy produce? Uh, things and resell them. Mm -hmm. You buy it for profit, yes, profit yes, sake. Yes. But uh, you sell it for something it it rationally should not should not cost. Yeah. Uh, orange, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go if you go outside, or you, they sell orange for ten dollars yes. at some places. Yeah. You know, you you imagine you know why why is that happening mm -hmm. in a Muslim society? Mm -hmm. You know, does it also form part of the rules you're talking about? You mean, you mean exploitation? Exploiting this society. Uh, yeah. That is uh, excessive profiteering. Mm. It's not in, uh, in line with the religion of Islam. And excessive profiteering becomes uh, um, uh, strictly prohibited when they pass You know, sometimes people, what they do, they tell lies. Yeah. They will tell you, I buy it. This cost me, this orange, I bought it in, in, in C4. The bag cost me $1,500. Yeah. When, when the person is simply lying. When he bought it 500 even? Probably five or less or even 700. But he's simply telling lie. But at least he must find a way of this excessive profit hearing. Mm. So then you have serious moral problem here. It becomes a dirty situation. Mm -hmm. But if you are telling the truth, uh, 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 um, you may not necessarily break, breach a, a, a legal rule here. But the moral rules of Islam are being violated. Mm. In the sense that you are making unnecessary or excessive profiteering against others. Okay. Yeah, but if you are, if the person is uh, is not deceiving people uh, by lying to them, mm. uh, if he is uh, very transparent mm. about what happened, telling the people the truth, mm. but insists on buying it at that particular price, which is very excessive, uh, the legal rules are not violated, but the moral rules are violated, okay. and they can carry some implications. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about holding here. Yeah. Holding. It's also a business practice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, it's a common practice, especially yeah. when uh, major events mm. are about to take place, yeah. Yeah. like uh, mm. the Ramadan. Oh, people are notorious for that. Yeah. 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 So, Again, is Islamically, Islam. Maybe people do it because they don't know that it has some Islamic implications. Oh well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe they yeah. don't know. Maybe they do know. Maybe they don't want to listen. Because people have been talking about these things for centuries now. What do I say about it? What does I say about uh, uh, it? Ihtikar is also another uh, business practice, which, which is which is not uh, uh, you know Islamic. Because the thing is, is again fall under unnecessary or excessive profiteering. And normally when they do, they lie, mm -hmm. and that makes it worse. You come and ask me, oh, we don't have it. It's yeah. out of stock. It's finished. Uh, it's finished. When the store is it's full of this, but they're waiting, and that's exploitation in fact. Mm -hmm. And in addition to ensuring halal money for the Muslim, it is not only enough for you to ensure that the money is halal, but you must ensure that the money also has barakah. It's blessed. Mm. And I can assure you, that particular adding will be devoid of barakah. These are the people, someday something disaster will happen. The whole property will, is gone. Mm. Or 90% of the property will be used to uh, on medical bills. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. Because there is no blessing. People, m millions of Muslims or millions of people, innocent people, were made to suffer. Were made to suffer before the money was the money was raised. So you make millions of people suffering simply because you want to make yourself rich. 